Oh, God. Whew, glad that's over. Kids, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, Steven Spielberg made a movie called Jaws. It was really scary in 1975, but when you watch it in the last three years for the first time, it gets pretty snoozy. What are you doing? One, two, three. And then came Jaws 2. Do, 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 do. A snooze fest sequel that was more or less the same. And now, folks, we're in Jaws. Three <gasps> D. This one has does not have Spielberg anywhere in the movie in terms of the credits whatsoever. And that's a good thing. They do. <laughs> they do the cardinal sin of movies. Thou shalt not replace John Williams. I don't think they did. Well, they got a different person. And what I love is that in the credits it says story, or er, story inspired by yeah. the, or er, no, encouraged by. Okay. Of course, Sea World. <laughs> This was dumb. Okay, I'm sorry. I know you said after um, recent incidents you didn't want to do a lot of controversial movies. I completely forgot that SeaWorld was going to be in this movie. And, and we know SeaWorld is a lot better than this movie. Yeah. It's Pets Ahoy than... was better than this movie. <laughs> Clyde and Seymour was better than this movie. Now you're going to say VeggieTales next. No. Okay. Um, okay, let's kind of talk about the movie. Employees that we know that have worked at SeaWorld are better than this movie. Okay, so this movie also gets rid of Roy Schneider and pretty much everyone from the original cast. And if there's any... Buddy from the original cast. Well, I'm sorry. You weren't interesting. Well, no, because it was a whole different setting. It was SeaWorld that was just opening. Yeah, but allegedly, according the to Wikipedia... The others were on an island. No, it was on the coast. Yeah, wasn't it on the island off the no. coast? No. Okay, whatever. It was probably in Florida. This is probably at no, SeaWorld I Orlando. Was... Well, I don't know. No, Even though SeaWorld it... Orlando doesn't have access to the... Ocean. Okay, so maybe they filmed on location at SeaWorld San Diego? San Antonio, San Diego. I San Antonio know. isn't even New near Orleans. water. SeaWorld doesn't have a New Orleans. Well, this SeaWorld would not last anyways past opening day. Yeah. This actually kind of reminded me of Jurassic World. It's SeaWorld mixed with Jurassic World. Not as funny as Jurassic World. Everybody was young in this. Dennis Quaid. Yeah, Dennis Quaid Louis is in the Gossett movie. Junior. And folks, maybe it's because of the cut that we. Maybe it's because of the version that we found. But yeah, you couldn't really understand them. Even to the end, when they were calling the dolphins' names, the first dolphin came, and then it sounded like Sandy, Handy, Randy. I I don't know what they were saying. Okay, let's... Okay, basically, if you've seen Jurassic World, then you pretty much know the plot of this movie. They're opening SeaWorld, but there's a shark that has gone into the lake, and somehow that lake the is lagoon. connected to the aquarium exhibits. The lagoon, yes. The baby shark got in, and so Mama came to save. And then Mama came to revenge. Now, this movie reminded me of some, uh, this movie reminded me of that Seinfeld episode, The Marine Biologist, where they're looking at a dolphin and says, like, that's a fish. Mammal, I mean. The shark is fish. Um, Dolphins are mammals. This movie also kind of reminded me of Piranha 3DD, where... 
it was well this this is so i'm not even gonna you know what never mind that's too easy i'm not gonna go with that but okay move on um so anyway they're working this, up yeah. towards opening day and since they caught the baby shark, which they thought was the shark that was causing the attacks and the damage to the gate, um, they put it into captivity. And then the head honcho of SeaWorld decides, well, let's put it on display. Well, the shark could not handle all of the noise, the attention, not being in a breathing tank. And so um, the baby shark died. Keep talking. I, I want to do a visual gag. Then they finally found one of the men that was going down to um, work on the gate. Are you going to do it now or no? Yes, people. This is an. This is just slightly more fake than the than the shark in this movie. They can't even see it. Maybe it's because I have these on. Shark. You spelled out shark. That was like... Now, I have some pet peeves regarding action movies. One is fight scenes that take place at night. And the second thing is fake-looking sharks. Well, in some points it looked halfway realistic. Other points it really looked fake when it was the tail that was out of the water and then it was going down, down, down. And I seriously doubt that... A shark's mouth could, is this is this wide? Yes, they said that it could be three feet wide. But okay, okay, fine. But something that I found interesting is that it seemed to me like ninety percent of the deaths in this movie, it they kind of feel like they're off screen or edited down. Like, like here's an example. Here's an here's an example. Just You're not going to punch me, are you? Cut. But that lady's leg from the bumper boats. That guy, that guy um Dennis Quaid's son, um brother never going to go in the water again. <laughs> When they were growing up, the backstory was that Dennis Quaid and his younger brother and father had seen a shark. You don't know what the shark attacked. He doesn't mention his mother. You never know. And also, looking back, this movie has some... This movie, I guess the only perk is that it's 90... It's not even 96 minutes, which is good because the other films were like two hours. But at the negative side is that it feels like there's a lot of unresolved issues, like the. But they were so happy at the end. Who was that? Who was that person that was using a flare or something? Dennis Quaid. Did he come back at the end? Yeah, he was at the end okay. with his girlfriend when they called the okay. two dolphins. What about Louis Gossett Jr. at the end? They said he was okay, and the lady, we don't see him. And the lady that was in the the control panel. Okay. But the nephew didn't make it. Okay, but what about this? What about all of the people that were trapped underwater? They got out. Did you see them, or was they that... were leaving? I saw the it, only, and I didn't there, see that. There were two that they did not find, and those were the two that were in the um, raft, the um, you know air raft or whatever, um, that went into the lagoon. The shark took them and then took the raft too, so there was no. Nothing. I thought that they would see a body or something show up in the lagoon when the people were under the water. This had to have been PG-13. Yeah, whatever. You can tell by the and, lack of and nudity explosion. and gore. Oh my god, that explosion was so fake. Why? If you had something explode in your mouth, that's where most your brain and most everything is? It looked like... It looked like cotton candy. Oh, anyway... No, no, it looked like a flower. Well, for the time frame that this movie was made and produced... This movie was released a year uh, after... This movie came out a year after E.T., and it came out after Star Wars. Okay. 
even the original, even Jaws 2, when he bit the electrical cable and it electrocuted him and he exploded, that looked better, and that was made years before this okay. movie. Don't yell at me. It was. Anyway. It does. So, now that they know that Mama Shark is still out there looking for a baby shark. I'm sure that'll be resolved in the next movie. They have to get everybody out of the water that's at the park. And I didn't know of any SeaWorld that has, like, a beach where people can go in the water. Um, Discovery Cove kind of does. Oh, and is they... that a SeaWorld? Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe they kind of use this. Dang it, I probably just ruined their attendance from now on. And nobody no, watches this show. No. SeaWorld, um, they take very good care of their animals. Mm -hmm. And here they were taking good care of the animals. You only saw the dolphins and the, yeah. other, the other tropical fish. Um, and the dolphins were very smart. Like you said, that they you think that they were um, rescue dolphins. No, no, I didn't. No. Or, well, what I meant by that is... They rescue the people. Right. They were trying to tell Not Dennis they were rescued Quaid, from the ocean. Dennis Quaid and the doctor that um, there was danger. Oh, be quiet, you two. Let's just finish this up, wrap it up. Only animals' minds have been heard in the making of this program. Hmm. Um, this is really kind of... For a 95-minute movie, it doesn't even feel like it should have passed even fifth, even an hour. They had to have some drama. They had to figure out that it was Mama Shark. I've seen half. I've seen 22-minute TV sitcoms that had plots that felt like they should have gone longer than this movie. Well, what are you gonna do? They got money to back them and all that sort of stuff, so what are you going to do? Oh, do, do, do? I can't wait. F I can't. It scares me. <laughs> that scares you. <laughs> well, what scares me is that this is the beginning of the bad Jaws films. Should I hold one of them? <laughs> You're hold being distracted. You you talk for a second. Spoil, no. spoil whatever you want. I don't care. <laughs> Kenzie, come here. Um, yes, our younger cat is chasing our middle cat. So we have three cats now. We had three before and we lost one, but now we have three again. We fostered one and now we've kind of um, adopted him. Um, he didn't go back to his original or second owner that adopted him. So anyway, um, back to the story. So once they figure out that they've got um, another shark... And this shark in the underwater sea experience, um, this shark was banging up against the hallways. Um, I lost them. Okay. Hallways where there was metal and stuff like that. Yeah, an undersea aquarium. So what had happened, there were about 30 to 40 people that were trying to get escorted out. Mm -hmm. They got stuck into a... Um, corner cabin area and the doors automatically shut because the water was rising and someone's and someone was like the water is cold and I made the comment why doesn't someone just pee because that's only a second but anyway then um, Dennis Quaid went down there and Brody I think was his last name I don't care. Mike or Tom or whatever. Not not Tom Brody. Mike. Mike Tom Brady? <laughs> Mike Brody, I think, was his name. And Brody Jenner? Finish. The movie was a snooze fest. So Despite anyway, it being 96 minutes, I... Maybe I think it might have felt longer than the first one, than the first two. Well, I think that the owner of SeaWorld in this movie, um, Mr. Gossett Jr., who was, was very underused, and he was making bad decisions. It's bad, no so, expense. Yeah. I wonder if Spielberg used some of that with making Jurassic Park because the owner of that park was also kind of corner budget cu corner cutting yeah anyway people so they uh, only lost four people i think in this yeah people got bit but 
Well, no, wait. Okay, so they lost the first guy that um, the girlfriend was upset. He went down to check the gate. Then those two guys in the lagoon. Oh, and then I, I want to oh, say and something then they else. Lost the English guy from Virginia. I want to say something. Okay, two things. One, why would you go down in a sub that doesn't have a roof? Yeah, when they showed it from the top, it showed like it was enclosed. But when they were down there, the water was they were, coming in. They were doing like Maybe it was underwater. pressurized. Maybe. No, there wasn't a cover. It was like a regular, it was like a sports car or something. And then they didn't even take that back to escape the shark. And here's the second thing. The person who was using the cage, or who was uh, using the chain to like tie the cage. What are you doing? You said the second thing. Tired. Are you helping our deaf audience? I apologize. Um, why would you go down to tie chains without, like, breathing? Without, like, a scuba tank? Maybe he thought he was able to just go down. He wasn't really tying them. He was locking them again. And then the movie ends with with them saying, Oh, you thought the sharks looked fake? Oh, get a load of this. Oh my god, I can't believe we, we're almost, we almost forgot to say something. Go ahead. Man, that submarine looked so realistic. It would have looked more realistic if they put a Twinkie on a piece of string and just did this with well, it. Well, in the underwater tunnel, that octopus leg that grabbed that girl. No, that was an animatronic, so I was okay I know, with that being fake. I know, And that was kind of a jump scare that, in my opinion, worked. Because yeah. I didn't expect that. No, I didn't either. That was... Whew! Wow. SeaWorld, you should add that. Add an animatronic octopus arm. No. Just keep on trucking. But, come on. Are you going to say anything about how realistic the yellow submarine bus I looked? I already told you when they showed it without showing them, it looked like it had a top on it. But when they showed them no, in I'm not, it... No, I'm talking, no, I'm, I'm talking about when it went around and I, was, and I was like, wow, that's realistic. Yes, you didn't let me finish, so thank you. Anyway, yeah, people, don't worry. We'll review Jaws 4 and Ugh. Jaws 5. Cruel Jaws or Jaws in Japan or oh, whatever no, it is. Come on. Yeah, we have to, unfortunately. You have to. Mm. Okay, anyway. Really? Was this movie that gross to you? No. We, well, the, the cut on the girl looked pretty realistic. Oh, yeah, that, anyway. I guess. So. Join us next time where. Hmm. Today's the 17th. Is it the 16th or 17th? It's the 17th because this is Friday. Thursday. It's Friday. Oh, Friday. Friday the 18th. <laughs> Friday the 17th. 17th. Mm. Okay. So that means Die Hard ripoff next week. Okay, With, I hope it's better. Well, you picked the movie. You wanted to see this one. Yep. So if it's bad, it's you. Okay. Subscribe to me and I'll subscribe back. I'll try to get back on a better schedule. See ya. Okay, bye.